In this video, we're going to show you how to put together our history timeline. Um, you can visit our website, BibleStoryPrintables.com backslash Bible Timeline for all the printables and instructions on binding. Um, so basically, after the front cover, we start with creation. We've got 5000 BC in the middle. The next page, we've also got 5000 BC, then 4000, 3000, then we have 2,500, then we have 2,100, 2,000, then we jump from 19 to 16, and then we zoom in on uh, the life of Moses, 1525 and on, then we go to 1400, then 1300 BC, then 1200, 1100, then we move from uh, 1,000 to 900, then to 800. This page has 800 to 750 in the middle, to 700 at the end. Then we start with 700, 600 in the middle, then we end with 550. We're at 550, 500 in the middle, then 450. Four fifty, and then we've got four hundred, three hundred, and two hundred across the line there. Um, then two hundred, one hundred in the middle, and then we end with fifty BC. And then we've got fifty to zero. And this we have a cover for um, the ministry of Christ. And we've just ordered these um, according to. Uh, what happened, you know, chronologically. So we go across the top of the first page, then the bottom of the first page, across the top, and then across the bottom, all the way through um, till, to the resurrection. So um, that's basically how we did the rest of the timeline book. And we've bound it all together uh, using our binding machine. Um, some of the references we used was Nelson's complete book of Bible maps and charts. And this is probably my favorite reference book. It is just filled with information, charts, um, timelines, maps, uh, real photos, just everything you could really uh, need when making a timeline. Um, if you're looking for something a little more introductory, the David C. Cook Journey Through the Bible is a great one. Um, this might be great for middle school or high schoolers as well. It's kind of the same thing it takes you through, but it's just a little less information, a lot more photos, which can be a little more interactive for children. Um, we also use the Kingfisher History Encyclopedia. Um, this book is humongous. We probably only used, you know, the first 5% of this book um, for reference on the timeline. But you can see it's got a timeline across the top and it goes through and just tells you about each different period. Um, it is a secular book, so it does start with Cro-Magnons and a very ancient world, um, but it's a very good resource nonetheless. Um, and this is the mystery of history, and this is a history curriculum. Um, we use it in our home school, and it basically goes through different events in history, and it has lessons and activities for children, crafts, um, and it's all divided for um, different age levels, too, so you can really use it with all of your children and stay on the same subject. So this was one of our highly recommended books as well. So hopefully you'll check them out and make your own timeline.